being a fishing boat captain is making sure the people catch fish. You don't jerk them around. The public does not like to be jerked around. I'm Captain Dave of the Captain Dave 2 out of Sheepshead Bay. That's my living. I come out here every day. I take people out fishing. There used to be 48 boats when I was a kid. 48. And everybody was always loaded. Now there's only eight. It's a doggy dog world down here with eight boats. You know, it's always been like that with competition, and there's not enough people. You make a little profit, but you, you always throw it back into the boat. That's what a boat stands for. Break out another thousand. I've been doing this all my life. Fifty-one years I've been doing this. I'll try and pack the boat if I can. If I can, I can. What are you gonna do? You meet a lot of different people. Families, uh, single people, married people, all forms of life come on a boat. It's a call. Go ahead. Right, it's going to be very windy as soon as we turn that college. When I was a kid, I used to work on the deck out of Canarsi. And I was doing $1,500 a week. I bought my parents when I was a kid a house. Yeah, it was in East New York. I made so much money those days when I was a kid. I just kept giving my mother the money. It's wonderful, it's relaxing. Nothing bad, there's always excitement on a boat. A good, a good catch on a day like today should be 300 blackfish. Oh, we had blackfish already, 11, 11 and a half pounds. Porgy, porgy, porgy. We had all different sized fish. We had some big fish, striped bass up to 38 pounds this year. Years ago, there used to be so much sheep's heads in, in the bay. They looked like little porgies. And that's why the sheep's head bay got its name. The crew is mostly the important thing on a vessel. They should have knowledge of uh, rescuing and survival. I have my son Paul Paris. I have my nephew Danny Paris. I have Ralph Giovatko when he comes down. Treat them like family, scream at them. And they understand. You gotta know every inch of that boat. And if you don't, you're in trouble. I saw a tug and tow, and he was blowing the danger signal, and all of a sudden his lights went on. All of his lights, the barge lights, the tugboat's lights. I got on channel 13, he says, come in please, he says, yes. I says, is there anything wrong? He says, yes, a boat just ran over my toe. I says, I'll be right there. We noticed a person holding on to the hull of the boat, yelling and screaming. We threw him a life ring, like an adrenaline rush. He actually uh, dropped the life ring, and uh, I had to take the anchor rope and run down the side of the boat and uh, throw him the anchor rope. With a miracle of God, we grabbed him. It was ripping. It was very, very fast tied. If he did not grab that life ring, or if we did not grab him with the rope, I'm sure he wouldn't have made it. Okay, folks, line's up. Time to get back to the barn. You got a pole fish for the pool. The mates will come around and weigh it up. It's not like it used to be. On a beautiful day like this, I got 25 people. It's like almost breaking out even. Compared to years ago, yeah, 
carry 50, 60 people a day this time of the year. They made a few bucks, no more. My son, uh, Paul, he's, uh, he's the only really eager one that wants to do this, but I keep telling him now. Between the government hammering you with taxes, the bait man hammering you with prices, your breakdowns, your shipyard, forget about it. It's not really making a living. This bay's been down here since 1800s. And it should always stay here. When I was a kid, I wanted to be an airplane pilot. And so happens I never did. And I became a pilot of a boat. <laughs>